Hello. <laughs> what a lovely intro. My name is Razor Tim Core. I am joined by these three lovely guests for another interview. And going from left to right, starting with the dragon, please tell me your name and your plugs. Hello, uh, my name is Kiyazuna Dragon. I am a uh, variety VTuber streamer. I uh, play, uh, I do things ranging from games, both classic and recent, to just vibing, watching vids, uh, teaching peeps about mythologies and ancient history and whatnot. I am a nurse, so, so do not blame me for that. <laughs> and yeah, I do have a Twitter and a uh, Twitch and also a YouTube that I do plan on returning to. And they all share the same name, which is Kizuna Dragon. <laughs> Excellent. And the one in the middle. Tell us, what is your name? What are your plugs? Hi, I'm Codename Gamma. You might remember me from such YouTube channels as Codename Gamma. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, my channel is Codename Gamma. Uh, it's youtube.com slash Codename Gamma. And then uh, my Twitter at Codename Gamma. And I do mods and hacking and create cursed things. Cursed for people to play. Cursed as in how? Cursed as in it will mirror the camera and then people can throw you from ledges. Lovely. Thanks. <laughs> so, on the uh, on the other end of the couch, tell us your name and your plugs if you're back. I am back, oh. fortunately. I was able to start throwing everything together for dinner, so I might be here and back again. But um, I'm Silver Wolf. I also go by Wolf of Silver. You can find my Twitter at um, Mitch Wolf of Silver. Was done while probably when Twitter started. That's why it sounds so funny. My Twitch is Wolf of Silver, and you can find me on YouTube with the same name. I'm also dabbling with Picarto and so forth, and that's pretty much the plugs I got. Okay. And no one cares about me, so we're just gonna move on. So the setup's gonna be a little bit different because uh, two of you have been here before, but one of you haven't. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask Codename a question first, then it'll be Kazuna, then it'll be Silver, and then the next set of questions. Got it? Sounds I good. Bet. Okay, so my favorite question to ask, Codename Gamma, what uh -huh. is your favorite color? Oh, purple. Why? It's the color of royalty. Good answer. Anything to add to that, or good to go? Um, no, I just like how it looks. Good answer. Although, yeah. to be fair, like, okay, I can elaborate. <laughs> My favorite color does change a lot, but mm. for a while it's been purple, so. Okay, that's fair. Alright, so Kizuna, we already know what your favorite color is, so now I'm going to ask you this. What is your least favorite color, and why? My least favorite color, um, pink and red. Actually, but uh, since, since it's one, uh, it's pink. It's pink. And, and, and no, it's uh, not because uh, of an obvious uh, thing, as uh, most people would think. Just, uh, I guess it's just, um, I just really don't like it. But, oh, I, just, just that it doesn't like it really suit me personally, pink. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's good. I thought you were going to say, like, oh, because of the war. Because of the what? The war. The war? What war? The war in heaven. The war. <laughs> right. No, 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 no. But it's nothing tragic like that. It's pretty simple. I just don't like... So, so, much, don't like. so much pink insides. <laughs> <laughs> so many cotton candy animals till that day. Anyway, yeah. Silver, what is your least favorite color? Well, it was already said earlier. Uh, I don't like the color either. But my other one is yellow. Why yellow? I mean, aside from bananas, I just don't like yellow anywhere else. Sure, you got mustard too, and, and some other cool things are yellow. But on, on certain things, yellow is just too vibrant, too bright. On cars, it makes me gag. And hmm. 
I just don't like it. Why would you use that color? Even for clothing, it's so godly and bright. I just... What are you, a traffic cone or something? But aren't what? you wearing yellow? No, this is, uh, this is beige. So you don't like The Simpsons, then? Okay. Or the color no, of your own pee? No, Simpsons are okay, because that, 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 that's color supposed to represent quote-unquote skin, so I can deal with that. But I just don't like color and certain other things. So you it's hate either that, sun pink, man. Got it. Or what's the other one? Thank you. <laughs> pink, pink, pink was the other color I don't like too much. Again, too godly. And it, it, it gives me a very stereotypical type of cutesy duty that want to punch in the face. So. Interesting. I didn't realize we had two pink haters in the, in the room. Oh, yes. I and, know. Yes. Whatever. Uh, I like pink, so I like it for more than both of them. <laughs> Hey, my my brother, his favorite color is pink, so I'm okay. It doesn't bother me uh, one way hey. or the other. Hmm? Hey, you twist their own, twist their own. Yeah, he's he's pretty manly, and he still likes pink. I'm not gonna question it. Um, so hey, real men wear pink, as they say. <laughs> he he does. So, good name. Tell me, what is your favorite number? Hmm. I want to say one of the numbers. Because it's a funny number. Which one? Not the one you're thinking of. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So is that 3.14? 86. 86? Why 86? Because the programming architecture for a lot of old computers is x86. Oh, so there's an actual reason behind it. Nice. That is as far as I can think of this quickly, yes. <laughs> Well then, Kizuna, what is your least favorite number? Uh, my least favorite number, I would say, um, it's so it's gonna be, uh, I would say six, six, six. Why six? Well, I don't know, it's, um. No, uh, but I don't, I don't really have a particular like a single least favorite. It's uh it's more of a tie of like three different numbers. Mm. So I just pick a six as a random one, mainly because um I would just say religious reasons. That's why. Interesting, interesting. So silver, I bet you can't guess what I'm gonna ask you. I have an idea what you might, and if I sound different, I apologize. I am using a headset mobile, so. Oh. Oh, I thought you were in a radio station or something. Me too. <laughs> JK. So, Silver, what is your least favorite yeah. number? My least favorite number just so happens to be 35. That, by 35. Because that's how old I am, and this year has been fucking shit. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, language, thanks. Anyway. <laughs> Come on, we're all uh, grown up here. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but it's been a, it's been a very, sorry, crummy year. Excuse sorry, my French. I, don't, I don't have um, a sensor bar. I can't fix this. Anyway. Uh, codename. Uh-huh. Perhaps you could tell us what your favorite food is. And if you're going to say something like pizza, be uh, specific. Oh, well, uh, can I do two? I suppose. <laughs> so, hamburgers? I usually eat a lot of those for some reason. Like, just, just regular old hamburgers or cheeseburgers? Yep. Or what, what kind of... Cheese. Any, any special toppings or just, like, nope, traditional? mustard. Oh, just, just cheese and mustard? Yep. That well, yellow mustard? mustard, mustard. And, like, lettuce and stuff, like the normal stuff. Oh, okay. Including that yellow mustard silver hates? Hey, you know, mustard, oh. mustard is good. Mustard is good on... But it's burgers. yellow. But, yeah. Everybody and as I, said, as I said earlier, it was a color I can accept on certain things, but the fact that people like putting yellow on clothes or cars, that's but why I don't like it. I have selective hearing, so that doesn't matter anymore. So what is... <laughs> so what, what was your uh, second favorite? Um, you know, everybody likes pizza, but I like uh, pepperoni and um, like double pepperoni and pineapple. 
Hmm. That's oh, a pretty good one. Oh, dirty little pineapple pizza. <laughs> that, JJ, it tastes so good with a salty and the sweet. I'm joking. Hmm. <laughs> it's just that that's, uh, that's a popular uh, like joke going around. Like, uh, there's only two types of people. Those, uh, those who like pine- pineapple pizza and those who don't. <laughs> I've had pineapple I mean, pizza I understand before. the concept Good. of it, but there's there's alternatives you can put on pizza, like corn. I've never. But heard that's of also yellow. Corn on pizza. So gross. That's uh, why I, that was the first time I had someone I tell me about it. That I, I had. Oh, when he gets to me, I'll tell you about it. Yeah, because I, I, I had I had someone else tell me about the uh, corn pizza, and it sounds good. Just never had it. With this current thought process, Kizuna, tell us, what is your least favorite food? Least favorite food? Um, I'm going to have to uh, dig on this because there isn't a particular... I don't think there's a particular one that I do hate, but well, when, one or, that or, I most... Huh? Or, or even like a side dish or something that you'd just rather not have. Uh, like pretzel sprouts. Russell Sprouts. Um, I mean, those are oh, well, okay, I guess. But I would say my least favorite has to be um, strawberry. Really? Yes. Really? When I'm yes. shocked. Yes. I am um, shocked. It's just yeah. It is one of those uh, uh type types of foods that I cannot stand the taste nor the smell of personally. Really? Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but, uh, but I am uh, and I have a I have a very Peculiar scent when it comes to 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 um, my food and stuff, and so huh. if it's like a sus something that doesn't sit right by my stomach, then then just no. I'm sorry, but no. Hmm. You have a particular set of tastes that make me a problem for people like you. <laughs> for, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, just that I don't, I don't mind like other people liking uh stuff. It's just that for me personally, like I'm just saying, you know, for my personal, I just don't like a strawberry. Well, yeah, as as a, that don't mean that don't mean I don't like any other fruits because I do love the oranges and bananas. Hmm. Well, I'll be sure to let my father eat your strawberries then. Silver Wolf, what is your least favorite food? My my least favorite food. That's a toughie because I'm not too particular. Um, oh, there, there's there's got to be a button to there, press. Uh, there is one. There is one. Seafood. And by oh, seafood, oh. I don't mean fish. I mean like crab and shrimp. Shellfish. There's two reasons to that. But crab is so good. Here. Well, he, he, so yes, I hear that, and. I had watched Gordon Ramsay's catch and serve a king crab in Norway. Anyway, uh, the problem I can't, the problem I have is I can't eat crab or shrimp mm. because it's not kosher. This, this goes to religious aspects. Um, ah. The other thing is because the one time I, I had shrimp, I couldn't taste anything. It had no taste to it. It had, it had, it didn't affect my palate in any way, shape, or form, which was really annoying. The other was when I was eating miso soup. If you do it the traditional way, there's shrimp in it. I had no idea about this, so when I raise up my spoon to eat, I see a head of a shrimp, and I lose my oh. shit. Excuse my French again. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Interesting. Well, now that we're done talking about, now that we're done talking about food and how you guys hate all the foods I like, Code Dame, tell us. Cleanse our palate. What is your favorite drink? Uh, Dr. Pepper. I asked well, the wrong Dr. person. Pepper, I drink diet, so. <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, diet Dr. Pepper, actually. I only drink diet sodas now, so. I asked the wrong person. That was not the right answer to cleanse my palate. Isn't, there's like some <laughs> like, like, though. How could you not like Dr. Pepper? Uh, You're not wrong. I'm, I'm more of a Mountain Dew guy. But you're it oh, is even worse. <laughs> but Dr. Pepper is good. Um hashtag not sponsored. Is there any particular reason you go for the doctor or or is it just something mm. you just gravitate to? I don't know. It's, it it tastes really good, I guess. All right. All right. Hear hear that doctor? You, you could have a sponsorship with Code Dame. Now, speaking of sponsorships, Kizuna, let's ruin yours. What's your least favorite drink? 
Least favorite drink, um, anything alcoholic. That's a very good choice. Anything alcoholic, really. That's how, that's as simple as I can get it. <laughs> that is, I, yeah. And the reason why is, uh, because of obvious reasons, like, um, uh, impairment, mm -hmm. stuff like that, and also just like, um, uh, sense of it. I don't know how, um, some who, no, well, no offense for those who um, drink um, to, or, or responsibly, but it's a, just a, I don't know, like, um, how, how you, you get, you get, like, addicted to, um, uh, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Because, because it's just, like, a spells, like, uh, or, and uh, the fact that if you drink too much, you can get sick and throw up. It's just, like, it's, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it, in my uh, honest opinion. And I think your opinion may be correct. <laughs> so, Silver, what is your least favorite drink? My least favorite drink. That's even harder, because <laughs> there's not a lot of drinks I don't like. Um, may I, I pick mean, one? I like alcoholic. <laughs> By all means, you can take I'll one. I'll pick one. My least... Water? Is water your <laughs> least favorite drink? You, you, you pick one for me. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Water, cause, <laughs> cause water tastes gross, and fish poop in oh, water. Water is important. Okay, probably my least favorite drink. Oh, it's so hard. Um, I think I'd be probably specific. Certain alcoholic beverages mm. I don't like. I don't like hard liquor. I'll drink beer. I'll drink cider. I'll drink whiskey. That's as far as I go, but bah. I don't like vodka. I don't oh. like the taste of vodka. Um, I don't like a lot of spirits and I don't like anything heavy. Um, beyond that, and the only other thing I really don't like is, um, it was this off brand Gatorade sort of stuff. Oh. It, it, like mellow yellow. Certain... No, yeah. Not... Also ca uh, candy cane sugar drinks. They taste uh. no ginger root. That was it. Ginger root drinks. They taste awful. So you don't like sweet things and then you don't like thick things. So drinking maple syrup or drinking, um, Hershey syrup is the yeah, 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 yeah. But, hey, but don't don't you dare question my maple syrup drinking but, skills, buddy. Yeah, they're they're don't, Canadian. Don't, that does, as that as a work. proud Canadian, I I I I I have maple syrup in my blood. You are mm. just so backwards in so many ways. How am I backwards? What is what is with you? Hey, 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 you I'm not on trial here. Anything. Moving on. No. You can't question me. Moving on. I don't question you. Nah. <laughs> Code name Gamma. What is your favorite book? Uh, my favorite book. Uh, well, I did w read one w recently, and it was oh. called um, Cheer Up, Love and Pom Poms. And that was like a um, graphic novel about a uh, trans girl in high school, almost, basically. Oh, that oh, sounds awesome. Ooh. It was pretty good. I did. I voiced a couple of lines from, or I voiced a page, and I sent it to the author, and she really liked it. So that made oh, me happy. nice. Hey. But for you, hey, hey, hey uh, nice um, uh, audible um, uh, audible um, reading when? <laughs> um, I think it's on Amazon. So go check it out. Ooh, nice. <laughs> well, now nice. that product placement's been done. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, so Kizuna. Hashtag why? Yes. Because we don't have that kind of clout. Uh, so Kizuna. If you couldn't have guessed, what is your least favorite book? I really don't have a, a least favorite book. <laughs> to because uh to because of well, one thing I uh, mainly read uh comics that I like. And two, in terms of, of regular books, I don't really uh read a whole whole lot of them aside from oh. my favorite ones. <laughs> so yeah, oh. I'm sorry, but I can't to uh, I don't have a particular least favorite. Okay, so there's you'll read all comic books then, or is there ones Not that you all. avoid? I mean, there's a like a so, some that uh, just don't catch my interest, but for because of a because of a to 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 a, say like like a least favorite, it would have to be a, a well, something that I know. That I de <laughs> that I despise. Ah. But but um but but if you want, um, I could tell tell you one that um. 
I'm trying to think, cause um, uh, there is some. Um... To... I'm really trying to one uh, think <laughs> of a book that I really didn't really care about. <laughs> I know this 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 question is kind of hard. Something but... too. I'm like, what would it be? Uh, so, uh, uh, Silver's, Silver's getting it easy. He's got time to think about it. Yeah. yeah. For that, like racing. It doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> it's the, is it that I have to, to one moment dive a D down into my, my uh, noggin back in my elementary school years just to one moment thing of yeah. like a, a book that I just don't like. Yeah, there was a, I, I can't remember the book I had a similar problem with. But I can't remember what it was either, but I know it was a school book. So, Silver, what is the least favorite book of reading that you despise to read once more? Uh, okay. Um, is it the dictionary? Well, I was going to say the Bible, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. oh, and we're... Unbelievable. And, and now, hey, and now hey, I need to remove you? <laughs> don't let any hardcore core Christians hear you say that. We're, That's we're, gonna, we're just going to drop that and move on. Yeah, 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 wait, yeah, wait, 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 Razor, Razor. Uh, I I thought of an answer. Oh. I, I got my, my answer for my least favorite book. Any textbook. <laughs> Textbooks. I allow it. Thank you. There. All right, cool, cool. All right, so moving on. Uh, Where was my list? So, code name. You're obviously a Sonic fan, so tell us, what is your favorite Sonic game? Um, Sonic Mania, I have over 9,000 hours in game of it. I remember the picture, yeah, that was just a question. <laughs> but hey, this isn't for me, this is for people that people watch like, you and want to learn. For 9,000 hours, I work in it. Like, you have, if you work in Photoshop, you have Photoshop open probably over 9,000 hours. Oh, yeah, because you make the bots and stuff. Yeah. Uh... How easy is it for you making the mods for that game since you've done it so many times? I don't see you about the tape. Um, like well, it's not just making the mods, right? It's about reverse engineering the game enough to then find uses for the things that we find. Oh. So a lot of them are just oh. tech demos that just get worked into other things. Kind of reminds me of working yeah. with scripts on Second Life. Just kind of tweak it till it works. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Uh. Y'all can have that coding stuff, <laughs> JK. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand it. I just, I just recognize it. Um, mm -hmm. so Kazuna, what is your least favorite Sonic game? Mm, uh, least uh, favorite, as in, uh, as in one that I have played, or, or just in general. I would say just in general, because you don't have to play a game to know it's, it's bad. It helps, but you don't have to. Right. Um. See. Uh. I know. I definitely made a uh, a um, a list. Oh, oh, like my um uh, least favorite side game. So, I'm just gonna gonna say uh, free riders. Why that one? I, uh, cause the free riders. Um, just so just just so from what I've seen, it is a massive massive uh Far Cry go uh, to 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 the first Sonic Riders games uh with side rides and science zero gravity because those games were freaking mm, masterpieces but it but it a uh, third uh, like uh oh uh, uh, like um the third installment sorry free riders was just no 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 wait whoa whoa wait wait i just thought of a worse uh game than that sonic 4 sonic 4 so, so sonic 4 is just freaking sorry your <laughs> answer's already been logged yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. It, it's just I just re, re remember. No, <laughs> like there was a game worse than that, and it was one that I actually played it. I didn't like it for a moment. I forgot so, yeah, four was even you, a thing. Uh, it was so, that yeah, bad. You got two. Yeah, I mean, hey, uh, at least you got two of um, my least uh, favorite games. For me, <laughs> yeah, freebie. So, Silver, what is your least favorite Sonic game? Silver, 
I'm sorry. I was thinking. I'm a pretty bad Sonic fan. I have not played a lot of Sonic games, so I can't give you a viable well, answer to that. Well, from what I have you've... an answer for you if you want it. Um, least favorite Sonic game. Least favorite Sonic game. I think the one that I really sort of stopped playing was Sonic Forces. I know it's really good, and the customization of your character is pretty neat. Just it's kind of lacking but um i felt i couldn't really get into that game uh, and of course everybody calls like 2000 was it 2006 or 2016 sonic was pretty bad but uh yeah, 2006. Of, that's it i just go yeah, because of the that beyond that i mean a lot of sonic games have been pretty okay i mean generations was a really good but um in terms of not liking it yeah sonic forces it's sort of it's sort of like it was trying too much. Trying too much. Sonic Heroes, I liked. Sonic Forces, not so much. Interesting. Moving on. Um, can I take, can I field that one at least? Because yeah, I yeah. had an answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You're all wrong. The worst Sonic game is Sonic Unleashed on the mobile platforms. You're not wrong. No, uh, well, but not going to lie. If you haven't said, said a mobile platforms about this gonna say like blasphemy <laughs> but you but you corrected yourself so <laughs> so you get a pass Very so it's like, well, but, but it's like who plays uh on, on mobile anyways that those game. those who don't have the console uh anyway codename please tell us what is your favorite game genre um, action platformers. Oh, so like Sonic and Crash Bandicoot and whatnot. Um, yeah, I also enjoy some Pokemon games. I played through Legends Arceus and really liked it lately. Oh. It was the last Pokemon game I liked. Interesting. So, Kizuna, what is your least favorite game genre? Puzzle games. <laughs> ah, too much for the thinky bits, I see. I mean, I, I mean, it's a, uh, I mean, that's part of it, but so more, most of them is just that, um, just uh, one uh, bit, uh, bit of uh, boring and, mm. and, uh, so, so, I mean, two, just, just that, um, uh, you can, uh, like, uh, do, do a, a certain game any other way, like it did, like it doesn't have to be. A freaking puzzle game, cause it's just like based on, cause I've seen, seen like game uh, trailers for like um uh, certain games, and just by now is that that it's a freaking puzzle. It just pissed me off, really. It was uh um uh it um I would say um if I haven't played uh, uh, as uh, as much student games I've had. As I have recently, well, then Studio Games would have been my least favorite, but I've soon uh, grown uh, to know them after playing with friends. But yeah, puzzle games are my least favorite. Interesting. Uh, so, Silver, what is your least favorite game genre? You keep giving me these hard questions. Everyone got the same question, mostly. Yeah, it's very thought provoking. Um,. Least favorite game genre? Probably horror. Why is that? I can't. I get nightmares. Oh, that's very. And the jump scares. Like, I, I I can't handle like, which is sad because a lot of games I want to try are like fear slash jump scare slash thriller slash horror, and I can't handle that stuff. Is like, eh. um, like Resident Evil. I couldn't. I can only get into like. Resident Evil 5, because I played with my cousin, but every other Resident Evil I couldn't get into, and any other horror games I can't get into, it's just kind of like, oh, the minute I see the first monster, it turns off. <laughs> Interesting. I, I mean, Resident Evil 6 and... I, I mean, I, I mean Resident Evil 7 and 8 aren't really that scary. Um, it's, uh, it, it's more just a like action shooter, if anything, rather than horror. But that's just me. Well, codename Gamma, I have a question for you. Other than Sonic, what is your favorite game? Ooh, besides Sonic? Yes. 
We're mm. shredding uncharted waters now. Well, I said I spent a lot of time in Team Fortress 2, however, I don't do that much lately. Uh I don't know. Outside of working, I don't really play many games anymore. Hmm. So by default it would be TF2, but again, you said you don't really play that anymore. No, but I've gotten like really into Digimon and like the virtual pets and that kind of stuff. So oh. like, maybe those technically. Yeah, those those are games. So with that in mind, Kizuna, what is your least favorite game that's not Sonic? In in recent memory, I would have to say Seven Deadly Sins Knights of Britannia. Because uh uh it's a album. yeah, it's just yeah, I'm also a uh, I'm a weave. <laughs> if you haven't known something, yeah, that's a game massively disappointing when I first played it. And it, it, it sucks too because I'm a big uh, Seven Deadly Sin slash Nanatsu no Taizai fan. And and I was excited to play that game on the PS4 when it first came out. It just uh and it was just so so short lived. Just it wasn't even funny. It was like it it was like it though was seven deadly sins the D D deserved better than this. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that one bothered me because I don't bother with that. So, Silver, what is your least favorite game that is not a Sonic game? Least favorite game that is not a Sonic game? I mean, yes, because we all know how much we hate Sonic here. <laughs> I, you know, I mentioned how I don't like the genre. Well, I think that's a, that's not the theme game of the genre, but... Uh, least favorite game that's not Sonic would probably be some of the more recent Call of Duties. I feel games like those really kill the industry for video games. And by the way, uh, Kazuna, uh, totally shout out to uh, liking Seven Deadly Sins. I love the anime. Awesome stuff. Awesome uh, stuff. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. A fellow Seven Deadly Sins fan. Let's go. Yes. So who's your favorite sin? Just to quickly ask that. Favorite sin, um, Meliodas, um, second being uh, Merlin. Merlin's nice. waifu. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, game of the genre, the game I don't like is probably more of the recent Call of Duties because it feels like it killed the franchise and hmm. microtransactions, you know, that kind of terrible stuff. That's a fair point. Garfield kind of exists and you hate Call of Duty. No, because you see, I can't say I hate it because I like the original Modern Warfares and the old, like, World War II Call of Duties. But uh, re recent I ones, I hate it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start shifting the questions back to you guys's rather than your games's. Um, so this question is going to be just for Code Name Gamma, because uh, we already know what you two are. Uh, what is your creature? The creature that you're sitting here now as? Oh, she's a bunny. Any particular bunny? Or just bunny? Not me. <laughs> um, not really. Maybe a long-haired one, so okay. I, is... I don't know. Is there any particular reason why you chose that? Out of all the other glorious creatures, such as weasels. So the story is, is that I was making content for Sonic Forces. Mm -hmm. And I decided pretty early on that I needed to make an avatar and just kind of keep it constant across all the videos. And what I came up with was a rabbit character. So oh. people ended up liking her, so then I turned her into a full character. So she's basically your mascot of sorts. Nice. Now, I remember you telling me outside of this that you don't have much lore, but if you do have any, uh, what kind of powers do they have? No powers. In that case, do they use their simpleton bodies and brains for good or for awesome? Uh, with what I do, maybe evil. <laughs> Ah, uh, so you're for awesome. Good, finally. <laughs> streamer or not? If you're a streamer, then it's evil. Uh, finally, finally, someone that's fun. Now, uh, let's see. Now, these following questions, um, you don't need to answer if you don't feel comfortable with, because these get a little bit uh real. Um, but 
First question, code name. How old are you? I'm in my 30s, unfortunately. Eh, you're still younger than me, so you got that to look forward to. And what part of the globe do you live on? Uh, the United States. New Mexico, to be, I guess, a little more specific, but not too specific. Good, good. And the street address, and the and the zip code, and the... <laughs> Don't. Yeah. Um, so... I'm going to muzzle you. I will muzzle you. Ah, oh, look at that. Everyone's protecting I'm the bun. Okay, it's Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, <laughs> D.C. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Mexico had well, one. Okay. Um, let's see. And uh, There's like a portal that you have to take, yeah. Ah, oh, now you're thinking with portals. So the final question I have for you is, uh, and again, you don't have to answer this. What do you do for a living? Outside of the uh, hobby, I mean, like, how do you maintain your uh, lifestyle? Um, well, I'm disabled, so I don't really, I can't really work. Oh. Um, so I have the hobbies of doing uh, programming and stuff and uh, my YouTube channel. Um, sometimes I do contract work for um, crowd control, so. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, someone's saying something. I should ask you, Cody, maybe you can give me a hand. I'm starting to delve into building a game through Unity. Oh, I have no idea. I can't look help. I can't help you. Nope, guess I'm doing this on my own. All right. Okay. I mean, there's always YouTube tutorials, at least. YouTube and Google are your friend. Now, I have one final question for the three of you. Ooh. If you, and starting with codename first, uh, if you found $50 on the ground in the middle of the street, what would you do? No one around. Would you keep it? I'd hold on to it for a little bit and see if there's like somebody who's walking around looking for 50 bucks. Provided that there isn't anybody, though, like after like an hour. Um, I don't know. Probably just go home and Order some DoorDash or something? <laughs> Good answer. Kizuna, what would you do if you found money just laying on the street? I mean, if it's been a way on the street, and if uh, no one who from uh, dropped it is around or is uh, not so looking for it, then I, was, then I would just honestly keep it. Wait, can I change my answer? <laughs> sure. Really, if there was uh, like a homeless person nearby, I'd probably give it to them because it's not like I need it. Ah, uh, that's a so. that's a very good answer. I like that one. Okay, so Codename's winning this little debate. What about you, Silver? You I find fifty bucks on the floor. Fifty what? bucks on the floor. Well, aside from not getting hit by a car, if I want to go get it, um, I keep it. I'm not. I'm not the nicest person. And 50 bucks is 50 bucks that I can put towards expenses, food, helping myself stay afloat, that kind of stuff. So I would take it. But of course, you know, if no one is actively looking for it and it's just there, if there was like a wallet with it, for example, or some sort oh, of yeah. item of identification, yeah, of course, I wouldn't keep it. What's the point? Or would I? <laughs> um, but no, if if it's just $50, just, you know, maybe a $50 bill or a couple of 25s just on the floor. Yoink. Sorry, uh, I need that one. Okay, and I'm sorry, you, you weren't finished with your answer, Kazuna? Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Please continue. I uh, so, so, yeah, but I was going to say, but if, uh, um, if the person who, who originally dropped it wasn't around or, 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 it's like long gone, but yeah, I was uh, personally uh, keep it. But if they are around, then I would uh, j just uh, just give them back. You know, honestly, because it's just like uh, just a fact on, on that the dollars so much just um uh, laying around, and surprisingly, no one else has picked it up <laughs> right now. Because let's uh, let's uh, be honest, um, if uh, of any person. 
looking down and don't want to see it. They was nasty long before any of us would. Yep. So, now the final, final question. And this time we'll go backwards. Silver, then Kazuna, then Code. Mm -hmm. Ask me a question, Silver. Uh, I always, I always hate this part. Um, <laughs> what is your first rule when you eventually gain world domination? Answer me that one, Bucko. Murder bad. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you enforce it? <laughs> Come on now. You've ruled the world. What's your first order? Uh, if you're saying assuming things are... Uh, we're using pre-established laws and stuff. For the most yes. part. Uh, okay, so the first order is different from the first rule. First order mm -hmm. would probably try to... Uh, ensure that the populace is happy, safe, and healthy. If that means redistributing the wealth, then so be it. I got I got live for a um a world domination of uh obsessive weasel. That's a pretty uh noble first rule. Hey, I say, I say we nominate Razor as next president. Mm. But you live in Canada. You can't vote for me. <laughs> well, I could technically, I could technically vote for you because, ah, you activated that trap card. I'm actually a dual citizen. I am an American citizen to Florida. Okay, that'll you know be my second. That's well, my second mandate. No dual citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> we still uh, pay our taxes. <laughs> oh, well, by all means. Uh, money solves all problems. So, Kazuna, what is your question for me? All right, see, my question to you, Razor, is. Besides dumb uh, weasel, I see. What is your favorite animal? For the longest time, uh, it was the Bengal tiger. Ooh, how come the Bengal tiger? I chose Bengal tiger because it was easy to remember because it had a black tip. Outside of that, it was tiger because tigers were cool looking and easier to draw as a child. Uh, Yay! I would try to draw like four-legged tigers, but with like Mobian style it was dumb and stupid, but yeah, uh, five uh, in the fifth grade, it didn't really matter. I see. And also, don't don't so most if not all tigers have black tips, unless you mean something else. Uh, the Bengal tiger, they all have a black tip on their tails, because um, sometimes it could be orange, sometimes it be because you know the, the tails are striped. So it's kind of random if it's going to be black or orange or half and half at the tip, uh, but I they are always black, from what I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Uh, so, so you're not solely weasel. <laughs> that was back in like the fifth grade. Mm. Maybe, sure. maybe earlier. I've so, seen you in a better place. You do like tigers. Oh. Well, I just like Ooh. cats in general. I'm going to put this in my notebook. <laughs> oh. Looks like you got yourself a fanboy there. Well, it's a, about a time. You should join him, Kazuna. Bruh. Anyway, codename Gamma. Okay, so if you were a wrestler, what would your entrance theme song be? Uh, It would be the Benny Hill music, because I'll be running the other way. <laughs> That's kind of lame. <laughs> I don't wrestle. Come on, yeah. man. If you can't be a, um, a world dominator, but if you can't fight. What does that have to do with a wrestling? A live show called, like, <laughs> the best YouTuber and there is entrance music. What would it be? If I had to choose an entrance music? Oh, that's easy. Um, It was from a Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur game. Um, I forget the character's name. But his theme song was uh, Time Marches On. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Let me double check what it was real quick. Uh, Soul Calibur. Time. Which 
caliber of Just souls on uh soul caliber three there it is it was soul caliber three it was a uh, don't know how to pronounce that name the Zalamans, the Zamarils, the guy with the scythe. Mm. But yeah, I heard that. I'm like, oh, I like that. That's mine now. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the final question round. And with that, we're pretty much done. So if there's anything you three would like to say before we end this, uh, now's the time. Uh, silver? Okay then, Kazuna. Uh, Sorry about that. I was oh. stuffing my face in the of my dinner. Ah, enjoy your dinner. Kazuna, anything Sorry, you want to... Uh, we're, 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 we're tying it up. Is there anything you guys want to say before we end this? Uh, oh, oh, I was going to say, say uh, Visum has has a bit of fun once again uh while well, we're doing uh with this um, interview and also well pretty um, interesting um a answers from 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 each and every one of us so Indeed. learn something new about each other excellent excellent throw out uh i don't know if that's the right wording i used anyway silver what's your uh final words keep doing what you're doing you're making the internet a funner place by bringing such great minds together to give some interesting feedback on video games and interests and gets to see some interesting walks of life from all over the place. So yeah, oh, keep, keep... oh, my butt is so sore. Stop kissing it. <laughs> keep on keeping on. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, Code, any, uh, any final thoughts? Words? Um, I do want to say, um, so if you don't know me, that I'm trans, male mm -hmm. to female. Um, so if you're like me out there and you're having problems and you're questioning whether this is right for you, just remember that there's other people out there like you and that you're not alone and that you can do this if you set your mind to it. And also to be very brave because right now the world is very scary. Mm-hmm. But it will get better. So just hang in there. Excellent choice of words. Great. Be be strong. There's people that I've met have been going through the process. You got it. You got to put your mind, your body, and your soul to it, and be strong. The world, the world doesn't like it because the world doesn't understand it, and the world is afraid of it. But you know mm -hmm. what? Screw the world. You you want to be who you are, who you're comfortably man woman uh, man woman whatever you choose it. Whatever you choose, you stick with it, no matter what people say, because you have to be comfortable in your own body, you have to be uncomfortable in your own mind, you have to be comfortable in your own gender. So don't and ever think the wrong thing. Always go onward. Yes. Onward and upwards. I agree. Mm -hmm. And with that... Of... Well... Have... I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta take a certain weasel away pretty soon. Uh, okay, I don't know what that's about. Anyway... And with that, there's no further ado. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Peace. Uh, goodbye. Till we next meet next time, Blue Hedgehog. Goodbye. Goodbye.